All right, it's time to talk bug out bags. Around one third of the subscribers on this channel are preppers, and I feel like I don't make nearly enough videos like this. So here we go. You're gonna see every single item in my bag. First of all, this is a Magellan Outdoors brand hunting backpack. Let's talk about the philosophy. You have to have a philosophy of your bug out bag because you can't cover all the bases. You have to know which applications or application you need yours for. So mine, number one, I wanted compact. As you can see, I fit everything into this. Not a lot of size here, guys. Number two, I wanted cheap. I am a single dad and I do not have unlimited resources. I pay child support. So most of the items in here are on the lower end, cost-wise, okay? The other parameter for this bag is I live in the southern United States, so I don't need anything really for sub-freezing temperatures for the most part. The last parameter is it will last me about two weeks minimum. This, will only, this is not a permanent thing, okay? As you all know, bug out bags are not meant to be permanent. This is just to last me until I can get into a more stable environment in a SHTF situation. So let's go through all these items. Uh, obviously, because I'm holding a phone, I do not have both hands free. What I'm going to do is take out all the items in groups, okay? Food and water. These are life straws. You can get them on Amazon. They are like straws. You can drink water directly from streams, lakes, rivers, even puddles. They filter out everything except viruses. Now, if you need to kill everything, including viruses, you use these pills, these soak in water. Those are great. Metal container to hold water or even boil it in. That's not, that's not a lot of water, I know, but remember, I have a compact bag. It's just enough to get by. Jif peanut butter, this is a great choice. It's got preservatives in it that make it last a while. It's got protein, fats, sugars, and oils. This is not Altoids, this is fishing tackle. That's one of the best resources around me. I have a lot of lakes, I'm pretty good at fishing. Uh, extra fishing line. This is a glossary book with pictures of wild edible plants in my area. Self-defense. I choose a pistol because it is compact, obviously. This is a Ruger Security 9, a great budget gun. I got it for less than 300. Ruger makes some great low-end guns. Um, I've never had a misfire through this. I've gone through about 700 or 800 rounds. It's never had a problem. The rounds that I use for defense are critical defense. Those are great. I also got some of these. Um, this is a Smith & Wesson. Double-sided dagger. Anything for self-defense, you want double-sided because you don't know if you're gonna swing forehand or backhand, right? We don't think about that a lot. Um, I can also use this dagger or even the gun to hunt some animals. Obviously, uh, these pistols are not as accurate as something like a rifle, but hey, you know, if, you, if all you have is a pistol and there's uh, you know, like a rabbit or a fox or something like that, It'll get the job done. Shelter and keeping dry. Here's a tarp that's about 11 by 14 feet. You can make a tent out of this. Also, you can trap rainwater. A towel has multiple purposes. You can use it as a pillow. You can uh, dry yourself off with it. Also, it can be used as a blanket. Ponchos, mylar blankets. This is what the American Red Cross uses. They are very, very compact and they keep your body heat in. There are about a million and one uses of paracord. I can make a 10 minute video just on that. Fire starting to keep warm as well. Got a fire steel rod. Uh, actually, you know what this has also? This has three tools in one. It's got the fire steel, it's got the compass, and a whistle. Any bug out bag has to have a way to make a distress call. Wet fire, that is tinder that will start a fire even uh, if everything is soaked. This stuff is incredible. And these are heavy duty matches that can start even in pouring rain. Look at the size of the match heads on those. Uh, that bottle is waterproof and it floats. Whole bunch of miscellaneous items right here. 
Leatherman Wave. I would recommend this above any multi-tool. If anyone watches the Alone Survival Series, this is what most of them use. It's got not only uh, outdoor wilderness applications, like knives and stuff like that, but also indoors, like screwdrivers, okay? It's fantastic. Um, you don't know if you're gonna have an indoor uh, situation. We always assume we'll be outdoors, but hey, what if you're in the city? And what if, uh, what if you need things that uh, work indoors and you have to unscrew something? You know, you never know. A small compact flashlight that runs on AAA batteries. I have some spare AAA batteries here. These also run in my radio. This is fantastic. This is by uh, Kato, it's called the Voyager 2. And uh, it has five sources of power. It's got a crank, um, solar, it's got uh, AAA batteries, it's got wall power, and also a rechargeable battery on the inside. AM, FM radio, a flashlight, uh, a distress siren, and it has the, uh, I think it's like the International Weather Service, N N A O O or N O A A, whatever it is, it has that where you can uh, get updates on weather emergencies. Gorilla Glue duct tape. A USB wall charger and a spare cable. A pad of paper to write down anything important that might come up. This is often forgotten, very important. Pens and pencils, um, plastic bags, Ziploc bags, small and large size. You don't know if you're gonna have to carry something or Whatever. Again, it's all about multi-purpose. The more purposes a single item has, the better. I have a roadmap for my state because if you are out of power, uh, there goes your cell phone. You will not be able to navigate. So it's always good to have a physical copy of a roadmap for your state. Bandanas can be used to block the sun, to filter out, uh, you know, like right now where we have the, the virus going around. It can be used as a mask. It can also filter out uh, debris from water if you want to pour some water through it and get out some rocks and sand. No, that's not my lunchbox. That is a first aid kit. I put together my own first aid kit. I didn't want to buy one of those, you know, pre-made ones because those are completely useless. They, they don't have anything useful in there. All right, so some hand sanitizer. This can be used to start fires too. You can start a fire and get a flame with that. All right, some medicines, Tylenol, ibuprofen. I have, in case of a, a bruise, I have an instant cold compress. Some medical tape, gauze pads, uh, those are large. I got some small here. This is, uh, it's called Stops Bleeding. If you get like a gunshot wound or like a really big laceration, this is, uh, you just pour this powder on it and it instantly clots. Some wrap. This is called uh, Coflex or Coband. It, uh, it's self-adhesive wrap. Antibiotic cream, thermometer. Oh yeah, I have this. This is a snake bite kit, or a, uh, a, a, a bite kit. Now, there's a lot of uh, argument as to whether or not a, a snake bite kit even works. You know, I guess the uh, American Medical Association, or whoever it was, said that uh, it, it doesn't, you know, you can't get any of the venom out of you, but hey, if I don't have a hospital and I want to increase my chance of surviving, even, you know, one or two percent, and I uh, can suck a little venom out from a snake, then hey, I'll use it. Snakes are the main threat where I live. There's not a lot of uh, wild animals that will kill you, but there are a lot of snakes. That's why I have that. Some alcohol pads to clean. I have some biohazard bags. Um, tourniquets. Band-aids. Shoestring. I guess that's for uh, like another form of a tourniquet. Some iodine pads. Scissors. You can cut your nails with this as well, I guess. And tweezers. There you go. Yeah, don't bother buying one of those pre-made kits, man. They're totally useless. You want to get all your supplies and make it yourself. And that's it. All those items fit into this small little hunting backpack. Obviously, it's not perfect, but I make additions every day, and that's what it's all about. We continue to improve. So thank you for watching. Please comment below. Uh, tell me what you think and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this.